Hi guys, my name is Talia, and this is my very first ever luxury unboxing. So I am super, super new to even liking or looking at designer items. So I got this bag that I have been wanting for a really long time. Um, I found it on Fashion File. It's the Vito in a specific colorway that I can almost never find. Um, I've only been to the Louis Vuitton store a handful of times, you know, like I said, I'm very new to liking luxury items. So just finally worked up the nerve to go a couple times and they didn't have the colorway that I wanted. Um, I'm not even sure if it comes in the size that I like in the colorway that I want. And um, I came across this one and I just jumped on it. I've never ordered from Fashion File before or any pre-loved site ever before. So this is how it comes Let me see. with the Fashion File the fashion file box and it came with this cute little confetti that I'm trying to keep all nice in here so this will probably make a mess later but and then it came with a cute little um, fashion file calendar which is so adorable it has like all the months with different designer items that is so cute and then here is the receipt for the item and this cute little fancy thing. Oh, and then it says thank you. Thank you for your purchase. That's so cute. Okay, so let me go ahead and show what bag I got. Oh, they also included a super cute nail file. Get it? Fashion file. And it says, I like my money where I can see it hanging in my closet. That is a motto. That's one I'm going to use from now on. <laughs> comes in the fashion file dust bag first. Um, it did say that the Louis Vuitton dust bag is included, so I'm not sure where that would be. <gasps> oh my gosh! Here it is! This is the Louis Vuitton V tote in the, um, I believe it's called Beige Rose colorway. I've heard like a couple different names for it. I saw this color, like these two colors, um, for the very first time in one of my favorite fashion YouTubers um, videos. Her name is Josie and she got it. She got the, what is it called? What is it called? The Pochette Matisse in this colorway and I was absolutely infatuated with it. Um, and then I saw this style um, but in the larger size on on the screen of one of those Louis Vuitton employees when I went in for the first time and I was like oh my gosh this bag comes in this color ah so that's when I started looking for it and um oh my gosh it's so pretty it's so pretty it is slightly worn but I figured if I can't find this anywhere else it's like I'm okay if it's a little bit Worn and it also was a huge savings. It's a little bit more worn than the pictures showed on the front. There's a couple spots. I'm not sure if you can see them. That are like not not a big deal. I don't know if you could get it off or not. What? Wait a second. Let me first I didn't even open it up, but also I'm noticing something that I don't know if I like. So here's a little like stain, like as if somebody spilled something on it, which wasn't in the pictures, but I mean, it's not a huge deal. I'm more concerned about this. Oh my gosh, is this fake? Uh, okay, I'm gonna see if I can get it on camera. This was definitely not in the pictures here, but it's also so little. It's like a teeny tiny bit of like the paint is coming off almost right there can you see that i hope you can see that oh my gosh <laughs> okay so see this is why i don't take the tags off until you've inspected it and it's really cute i mean i do really love the size of it like it's perfect little put on the crook of your arm or you can wear crossbody with the strap um, and then it does have the dust bag, so there's the dust bag. And then here's the inside of 
have this V tote size BB and the beige rose question mark colorway. So yeah, so I love the, the size of this bag. I think it's just so perfect and cute. So I did not finish this video because I was so stressed out about the fact that this bag could possibly be fake. Basically what happened is on the bag there were some like areas where it kind of seemed like the color was coming off. Um, and I do not have a lot of experience with designer bags, really none at all, just the one that my mom has. <laughs> um, and so I felt like that's something I'd, an authentic bag probably shouldn't be doing. Um, there were a couple other flaws and stains and stuff, but that wasn't, that was just unfortunate. Um, and of course, uh, part of, of getting a pre-loved bag, but these little areas where the paint was kind of coming off, I was like, mm, that's weird. It's really, really hard to see because it's so, so small. But yeah, it really stressed me out. I was very, very nervous because it was still a lot of money. And so I just wanted to make sure I didn't buy a fake bag. So literally right after the last bit that I recorded of that video, my mom and I rushed to the Louis Vuitton store. The reason why I did that is because I saw on another uh, YouTuber's channel that she used to work at the Louis Vuitton store and would talk about people who came in with either fake bags or wanting to get the bag authenticated and basically that Louis Vuitton employees are not able to provide authentication but if it is a counterfeit item then they will when the item's presented to them gently push it back to the customer and say I'm, I'm sorry but this is not a Louis Vuitton item so I went in because I wanted an answer right away I didn't want to wait for however long to get it authenticated by another company or anything like that I just wanted to go and find out in person. So that was the only thing I could think of doing was going to the Louis Vuitton store. So we jumped in the car, we ran off, um, put it in this in the dust bag that they give us, that they gave me for this bag, and put it in just a Sephora bag that fit the bag, and went straight to the Louis Vuitton store, and my mom and I were trying to think, okay, how are we gonna ask her if it's a real bag or not? Like, do we just walk in and say, hey, I got this bag, can you tell me if it's real? Um, so. Instead, I have always wanted to have um, a bag that has a luggage tag so I can get it hot stamped. That's always been something that I wanted to do. And this bag does have that. So that was basically what we went in for, was to see if we could get it hot stamped. I completely expected them to say, since I don't have any purchase history, they're not able to do that. Um, but, or, or from when I present the bag for her to gently push it back and say that it's counterfeit. So, or say that it's not a Louis Vuitton item. So I was mentally preparing myself for either one. I was hoping that if they said they can't do it for the for pre-loved items that she would at least see the bag so that she would have an opportunity to possibly do that if that were the case, if it's not a real item. Um, so yeah, so we rushed in and we got the sweetest Louis Vuitton employee. I pulled it out before fully asking, can we get it um, hot stamped because I wanted her to see the bag first. So I gently put it on the table and asked her, yeah, so it has this tag and um, we bought a pre-love, that's why the tags are still on, literally just got it. So I just wanted to see if we can get it hot stamped. And sure enough, she was like, yeah, absolutely. And she was excited for me and said, wow, what a great find. Um, I told her I, I came in for this bag once before to the store and I emailed about it and she said that they stopped making it. Um, I'm not sure when, but I believe it was from a spring collection in either 2018 or 2019. And she said only 5,000 of this color and particular this color combination were ever made. So that's why it's hard to find and no longer available in store. Um, but yeah, so she was really, really sweet. She did have a chance to look at it, kind of like put it in her face so that she would look at it more closely. And she did not do the signature move that it is not a real item. So I kept looking at her, waiting for her to do it, if she was going to do it or not, but she didn't. And instead, she took the luggage tag, and um, it took a couple of days, but we did get it hot stamped in gold, my initials, super pretty. And um, so it took a few days to get that hot stamp, but my boyfriend came in with me, and then for Valentine's Day, he got me this um, silk scarf from, from Louis Vuitton. It has all my favorite colors in it. My favorite colors are this turquoise right here and this coral pink, and I'm lately obsessed with purple. If you look on my Instagram, you'll see that I have a couple purple things popping up and it's going to keep happening through with the rest of spring. But yeah, so all my favorite colors. I was so lucky. I believe this one just came out for the new collection and there was only one of them in store. So that was perfect timing. And yeah, so it was a really great experience. Um, actually, when we went in the first time to get the luggage tag stamped, she actually took, she took it out of the, I had taken it out of the Sephora bag and she 
she just casually kind of put the bag away and said, do you want, a, do you want a, an actual bag, a Louis Vuitton bag? And she put it in this Louis Vuitton bag for me. So it already had the dust bag from Fashion File and then she took it upon herself to get me a bag to put it in. So that was just the sweetest thing ever so I could have a little bit more of the experience. And um, she was just so, so nice. So really great experience. And if you're thinking about buying a pre-loved bag, definitely don't be scared like I was. It seems to be not, um, I think it's not too, too common that there are counterfeit bags. Of course, you have to do your research and it is suggested that you get a third party authentication by some other YouTubers. They definitely say get authenticated no matter where it's from, whether it's from Fashion File, Rebag, or a little company. It's probably still a good idea to do that. So I probably will do that eventually. I just haven't had a chance to yet. So of course, if it were to come back as not authentic for whatever reason, then I would post an update about that. Um, but otherwise, it was a great experience with Fashion File, an amazing experience with Louis Vuitton. And um, if anybody's thinking about buying any pre-loved items, pre-loved bags, then I hope this video helped you out. And thank you so much for watching. Um, please keep an eye on my Instagram. It's at Celia Sophia with an underscore at the end um, to see how I style this baby. I'll have, you know, mod shots and stuff like that up there. And if you're interested in this bag in particular, the Louis Vuitton V-Tote in the size BB, then let me know if you would like me to do a what's in my bag or what fits in this bag video because she seems little, but she packs a punch. So um, I'm definitely in love with this bag and I am going to be using it a lot. So it'll be on my Instagram a lot and we'll probably have a couple more videos about this bag. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.